This is part nine of the abandoned diner for Blender Challenge Restaurant, and this is the end of the series for me. Uh, as you can see here by the thumbnails, I've got eight parts. We got some modeling in the first half of this, and then we've got some texturing, and then I went on and I did a little bit of texturing and uh, environment stuff uh, on my own, and I'm gonna show you that and talk a little bit about that right now. So here is my Blender scene and you can see that it's populated with all of these low poly objects. These are proxies for, or you know, sort of stand-ins for the uh, add-on Bag of Pie, which is um, the add-on that I decided that I would go with to add vegetation, all right? So if I was to go into rendered view or uh, this uh, viewport shading, you would see that, but I've got quite a few and I don't have the best computer, so I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll show you that in the render, but Bag of Pie is a free um, add-on that you can get for Blender. And uh, you can, well, you can scatter your vegetation uh, or you can paint it on, and that's what I did actually, use weight paint to add on your vegetation. And uh, it works very well. And there are a number of free packages of plants here, some of them in my asset browser that you can that you can choose, and you drag it in, and Bag of Pie will show up once you install it. If I press N, it's down here. Now the nice thing to tell you is that it works in older versions of Blender. This is 3.2 or 3.5, and it works just fine. And I also have Blender 4 or a little bit later than that, and it works fine in that. So even if you have an older version and not a super powerful computer, uh, it works It works great. And like I say, there's lots of, of free you know, plants and stuff that, that you can find. I struggled for a long time uh, with that. I've talked about that before, where I didn't want to use assets by somebody else. Well, I was just being egotistical and thinking I can I could do everything, and of course you can't, and you don't need to. And uh, of course, I'm using a sky texture here, which I'll talk about in a moment as well, that I didn't create. You can go out and photograph that. You can photograph plants or you can model plants. But at some point you say, you know what, I, I, I can use these resources and there's no reason why not to. Um, the main thing I wanted to focus on, of course, was the diner. So here is the diner. I moved the sign up and I've, draw, I've uh, modeled a little uh, vent of sorts. And I think you pretty much saw me model most of this and texture most of that. And the last one was doing the door. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple of renders and talk a little bit about them. Just one other thing I will mention, this box that you see here, this is a, a volume. And if I come over to the shading tab, you can see I've called it fog. And this is what I've done. It's just I, I took a volume scatter node, plug that into volume here, set the values that I liked. And, and to break it up a little bit, add a noise texture, play with the values, plug that into a color ramp and play with it and plug that into color. And that would give me some, some fog. And that's where I placed it. And that is pretty much it. So I think it's time for us just to have a quick look at, uh, at the renders. These were rendered in cycles. All right, so here is the first render and you can see the vegetation that I brought in with Bag of Pie. Now it's not looking like those low poly rock-like things, although I do have a few rocks. They're actual plants in this somewhat dry grassland environment. I've got the windmill in the back and uh, in sort of in the shadows. Um, I, I decided I would put a diner sign up here with a somewhat neon glow. If you're interested in, in knowing how I made that, it's very simple. Just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll do a video about that. I've got the glow here. I just, I wanted some other light in the, in the uh, image. Uh, and uh, even though it's supposed to be an abandoned or rundown diner, um, maybe there's a, a source of power or maybe some, some kids have found it and plugged in a generator or something around back and they're partying in there. And uh, so I wanted a little bit of light and it's not very you know, broken down or dirty or anything like that because I was getting to the point where it had been about two and a half weeks on this series. If you've been watching, you'll know that. And I, I wanted to get this done and say, okay, that's, that's it. I mean, even the street lights have just an emission and why are they on and why are they there? Well, 
that's up to you to decide. But uh, uh, this sky, I believe I got from Unsplash, and I just searched for skies, and I wanted some either sundown or sun up kind of views, put in my vegetation and my ground uh, textures, and played with the, uh, the terrain a little bit. And, um, you know, this is what I came up with. You saw me model most of this, and then just... I wanted to have it in an environment and I don't do too many environments like that and certainly not with plants although I intend to do some more of that I'm not saying that I'm going to do that in my next video uh, let's have a look at another render all right this is this is just another another view from the side and you can see the fog in there but it's not all just a thick blanket of it in fact you can see really over here I'm not sure why that's looking so thick looks like we're going off into the clouds there but it's sort of broken up by that noise all right so it looks like it is early evening or early morning where there's that mist uh, which is still not enough for a lot of plant growth but that is uh, that's the image that's the diner all right, so there's probably more things that I could say about this, uh, but I'm going to leave it at that. I want to thank you very much for coming by and watching this series, and I've also noticed on the Zero Bio Discord, uh, in the Blender Challenge Restaurant channel, there are a few people who have modeled a, a diner similar to this, and I, I think that's awesome. If, uh, if you have been working on that, and uh, you know I haven't seen it or you haven't posted it on the Discord. I hope it, I hope it went well for you. I hope you're happy with it. And I always like to see when I do something and then somebody models it. And very often they model a different version, and it's it's nicer than mine. And that's that's all good. But anyways, thank you for watching the series, and uh, I hope you'll tune into the render review for the Blender Challenge Restaurant, where I can show all the other. Uh, all the other entries from that. All right, so we're going to move on with other projects. Uh, hope you'll stick around and come on back to the channel. Subscribe, like my videos. I appreciate that. That gives me a real sense of, of accomplishment and, and validity for doing this. And uh, of course, I love to do it for you. And uh, we will see you again soon.